No, I'm gonna bully you. I ain't no child. You gonna answer what I asked for. I know that. channel alexa turn down to one welcome back to my channel it's adrian you guys i'm currently cooking it's wednesday as well um i'm cooking in the kitchen today we're making some salisbury steak i don't know why my lens look a little hold on the last thing i want to do is be editing editing this and be like sis why you didn't wipe that camera so just one second hold please Sword, please. Okay. There we go. Oh, excuse me. Y'all see me? All right, good. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm cooking right now. I am making some Salisbury steak. This is the quickest, easiest meal when you don't have no no food defrosted. I always keep these patties in my freezer for this specific reason. You cook it frozen, and it comes out so good. Um, I don't know where I got this pot from. Somebody, my last video I did. Oh shoot, I'm kind of with some pasta. Cause I, I was just think about it, cause I cooked pasta in there last time, <coughs> and it was so good. All you need is a bag of frozen hamburger patties, and I literally have some <coughs> seasoning in the plate, some flour, and I put. I like Louisiana Soul seasoning course because I'm from Louisiana but honestly um their se their seasoning they sell on Amazon now and H-E-B if you have H-E-B <clears throat> their seasoning is so good and it's not salty so I like replaced my Tony's with this with their seasoning plus I know the owners too but honestly I was supporting them before I became a content creator so I'm not just like trying to push y'all on and I have never received anything free from them I've paid for all of the ones that I've gotten and I repurchased for the past since 2020. So when they when they came out with this in 2020, because it was during the pandemic, they started going live and doing cooking stuff on Facebook. <clears throat> and then like they did really good with their seasonings. So I was like, well, I'ma try it. It's an all-purpose seasoning. So good, y'all. So good. Micah doesn't care for it. My mom doesn't. No, my mom does. My sister doesn't care for it because they say it's not enough salt. But I <clears throat> I used to cook heavily with salt. But I stopped because my pressure was like starting to get high. My mom has high blood pressure and so does my dad. So I normalize my family. So just for health reasons, I kind of cut back on the salt. And I've become adapted to Louisiana salt. That's all I cook with now. All I cook with. <clears throat> but just because I am cooking for my husband. And this is what he this is what he likes. And plus this is readily accessible all over the world, I think. It's Tony Satchery's. Um, but they have a lot of sodium in it. And I want to say like... I don't know like she did a live and talked about like how they use the high grade ingredients and I don't know compared to other things she sold me and I want to say it's like $8.95 like $9 a bottle of seasoning uh, for 16 ounces and it lasted me a while but like I went on Amazon I think I brought six of these um, and I take the shipping um, and then but it's gonna last me a while if we don't have ATB here so I can't just go to the store and go get it and I literally have some oil in the pot. I take the frozen patties, flour and seasoning, and sear them on both sides in the pot, brown them basically. Take them off, cut up my onions, put it inside there. And then for my gravy, I use a can of French onion soup, cream of mushroom. And this today, I'm using a, a Limpton um, beefy onion soup for the gravy. Just kind of have a little shaz to it. But Michael Love, he didn't ask for this. Fun fact, I gotta catch up with y'all because I didn't vlog the past two days. Um, I worked Monday night uh, recording and editing. Uh-uh, editing. I worked Monday night. And um, I said I was going to do my a hair tutorial and put my wig on. Child, this has not been touched yet. So, I have not recorded that video. And then I was like, well, I'm just not gonna upload, I'm just not gonna upload Sunday. Yes, you are gonna upload, Adrian. So I said, turn to get this camera. This is content right here. I wasn't doing short form, but I don't. Because I you know Wednesdays I take off on Wednesdays. I don't I don't record or post on Wednesdays. 
we don't have church tonight because our church is hosting a Kojic convention. March March Kojic convention is being held at our church. Um, so we don't have church tonight because they rented our our church out. Um, I am non-denomination. In case anybody wonders the question, I grew up Kojic though. My mom and dad are is still Kojic. Um, I don't know why I'm telling y'all that. I'm just talking at this point. Myla. Myla got tested today for the flu. She's been running a high grade fever since Friday. I told you guys in Houston she was sick. 103 fever. All night. Sunday. Monday took her to the doctor. They said it was a viral infection. It has to run its course. He didn't test her for COVID or flu. Today it spiked again at 103. I said no. I'm going to bring her back to the doctor. So she saw her regular doctor today. He did everything. He did a blood test. Uh, flu, COVID, strep, um, and a panel. So, um, she, homegirl was not happy <laughs> with that, uh, <coughs> that thing going up her nose. She was not happy at all. I have to hold her down. Uh, it's a little hot. So she's resting right now. And her, the pharmacy closed at five. So I wasn't able to get her medicine today. But, yeah, I thought moments like this, I should be going live, cooking, like, I feel like I would, it would be a vibe cooking with me in the kitchen. I would have somebody talk back to me. I heard y'all comments and talk back to me. I had so much fun going live the last, for Christmas party. Like, I didn't realize how hyped live was. Interacting with you guys, like, it was just, I don't know. I liked it. Now I feel like people do it, but I gotta be doing something. I can't just sit on my couch and go live. You know what I'm saying? I gotta give us something to talk about. I'm rambling right now. So, I'm gonna finish cooking this food. I'm going to record what y'all let y'all watch me do this. And that's going to be my night. Because I'm not doing that else tonight. Yeah, I'm not doing that else tonight. So, yeah. This has been cooking for about 45 minutes. I think I started cooking this at, no, probably about an hour now. Um, and this is what it's looking like, the Salisbury steak. So good. And my gravy is nice and thick. I ended up not using that onion soup um, packet. I just used the cream of mushroom. Um, and that cream of mushroom oh and the french onion 
I'm boiling some noodles back here for some macaroni and cheese. Oops, sorry. Macaroni and cheese, and then I have green beans going here, so it'll be rice, gravy, macaroni and cheese. Girl, hold up, sorry. Rice to gravy, macaroni and cheese, and um, green beans will be our dinner for tonight. But, um, uh, mm, so I'm gonna I'm I'm digress. I'm not even gonna respond to that text message. Oh, okay, but yeah, I'm not gonna get home. He had to work late today. Um, I'll tell you how he works at the he works at a gas company, and uh, but he has to weld, so he has to he has to he has to take a test every year to uh, to qualify to be a welding welder qualifier. So he yeah, had to practice welding today. So just waiting for him to get home. I talked to him about six twenty. He said he was almost done, so he'll come home to a nice hot cooked meal. But yeah. That's gonna be my Wednesday. It's 6.41 and I really hate eating this late, but I started late because I was at Dr. Late with Mila. All right, that's all I got to say. as well baby listen I usually don't get to work this early I guess the way the traffic be trafficking before 8 o'clock this is why I don't go to work till about 8 30 because they're a little aggressive don't want to let you get over baby listen I ain't set up for this this is giving Texas Houston vibes and that's like why I don't like driving in, in Houston but I want to live there I like driving in Houston because they mm -mm, they, they a different breed y'all y'all Houston people y'all are a different breed y'all will cut somebody off and not let them in and basically just boss hog like the few times I had to drive in Houston anxiety levels on oh, 10 so and you see how I just got just got bullied by not being able to get over that's how I, that, that's how y'all do in Houston Listen, I, I gotta get some thicker skin before I move there um, that is still the plans hopefully it happens um so yeah fun fact our old house is listed for sale um for way less than i paid for it in 20 2003 when i brought it whoever brought the house like they went through foreclosure and i'm assuming a divorce and they tore that house up so it needs a lot of work done but uh so mike and i was looking into buying that house and renting it out hopefully for like our future kids if they get married and just having renters or whatever and just another stream of income but um uh, i don't know that's still just kind of i would like to get into real estate and dabble but i would want i would the reason why i want that house because i love the neighborhood the neighborhood is just so hold on child this th this light is out and p again no no i'm gonna bully you i'm gonna go see sometimes sometimes you gotta stand up for yourself like i just did facts you know what i'm saying no because if i wasn't not that di i digress anyways um so yeah this is how i talk on five different subjects at the same time <laughs> i gotta do better and i was in the middle of editing my coffee video to upload it it literally coffee videos and talking videos take me about five to ten minutes to edit then like vlogs take me a little bit longer because i do voiceovers and i'm always stuttering or talking too fast or yeah so then like vlogs get ready with me so it's super easy to edit um, especially if I'm just doing trending, trending sounds over it, like I did one today. It's gonna be quick. I did some Amazon try-ons. I did a lot, baby. I got up at six o'clock this morning, and it's been a very good morning so far. And it's gonna continue to be a good morning. So, all right, that's it. That's all I want to tell you guys. I'm about to go finish editing this before I get to work because I cannot, I cannot do my social media stuff during business hours. Um, 
it's just one of the things that my company doesn't allow um so yeah and i gotta respect it because i love my job and i don't want to lose it over social media if i ever if i ever if i want to be able to quit not get fired <laughs> you know what i'm saying uh so yeah i'm gonna stop rambling go ahead and get this done before i before i arrive to work and i hope you guys have a happy thursday i have to get my eyebrows done um at 11 30 today because baby it's time and i also need to get my feet done because um it's been like probably eight weeks since i've been so i need to go get that done probably will be saturday um and yeah this is probably a sh very short vlog pretty short but hey hey and but y'all listen i always say it's short and it ended up being 45 minutes to an hour hour 20 minutes y'all know me I run, I run my mouth like i'm doing right now hey, so y'all um been had a busy busy morning i am he oh i don't have no gas my car is dirty i need to go to the car wash and fill my truck up don't have time to do neither one of those on my lunch break um look, look it looks just like my brother-in-law's truck like just like his truck i know he's not out here but still the truck was like identical to his tinted windows and all I am headed to go get these eyebrows done. So this is what we're working with. I really can't even tell again if I'm in focus, if I'm, I don't even know if I'm recording at this point, but, but I'm recording because I heard the beep. Beep. Okay, let me hurry up because I'm being silly at this point. I want to get these eyebrows done. Oh, look, the Genesis GV70. I want the GV80. I like the GV80 and the, talk about it all the time the navig not the navigator aviator either one of those but the, every time i look at the genesis i'm like oh it's so nice they remind me of a bentley they just look really really nice i am about to get these eyebrows done and then go pick up lunch because we're shorthanded today at the branch i only have one teller oh that's a customer this is adrian hey how are you i'm good okay sounds good thank you Thank you. All right, bye-bye. All right, so I'm at Scarborough's. This is where I get my eyebrows done. I'm gonna go in there to go get them done real quick. I do have on makeup, so I don't know. And I drew them in. I, I don't really clean them up, clean up under my brows like I used to. My appointment is for 11. Y'all, my hair look a hot mess. Like, I look like... My appointment's for 11.30 and it's 11.27. So, and I'm doing a little mini vlog, so I need to go ahead and like record me going in. You know, the whole nine yards of being a content creator. I only need my, I want to do my purse because I'm going to try to, I guess I can just hold my phone and record me doing my eyebrow, get my eyebrows done instead of having a tripod set up. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, let me go and I'll show you guys my brows when I get back. I'm back. Eyebrows are done. I think I told you guys she had to take my makeup off and you can definitely see the line of demarcation of concealer versus my brows, but she always does a really good job. Um, if you're looking for somebody to do your brows, um, her name is Kristen and she's at Scarbros and she does a good job. She, my number one pick was, excuse me, Amy, excuse me, only because I've been going to Amy for like 17 years. And then when Amy was out with her maternity leave and, or I don't even know when I started going to Kristen because, oh, my best friend, Nikia told me about her. She said, because Chris used to work on weekends and Amy didn't. And so I came on a Saturday to come get my brows done. I was like, girl, you're just as good as Amy. So I just continue to go with Amy just because of the loyalty, because of our friendship we had over the 17 years. But Kristen, but now that she's retired, Kristen is my main person. There's another girl who does it as well, but I don't know how she does. I just rather stick to the person that I know who's gonna do my brows and who's gonna deliver every time. So I did record inside there. So I may just do like a separate, um i may just do like a little like come with me to get my eyebrows done type of thing and i brought a la brow laminate brow lamination kit at home that i want to do with you guys hopefully tonight i don't know if you should if you can do brow lamination and wax them in the same day or do should i not do that i don't know i'm gonna read the box but if not girl we got some content tonight to create with brow lamination we're gonna see how that goes so this vlog might not be so short. We gonna see, girl. We gonna see. Let me go back to work, cause I gotta go back. To work. Uh, I was trying to see if I had like a little thing to hold up a light, but I don't. <clears throat> I thought I had something. Yeah, chill out. Malia wants you to see her. They say hi, Malia. They see your juice. All right, we got some packages to go through together. 
hauls unboxing. Um, I actually want to do a, a short on the Sephora and the Ulta haul, so I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna do this. Uh, just my, look at my, my shorts, and you'll see. Home. You'll see that. Um, I ordered this from TikTok Shop. I want to do a review on it. A spin, the spin mop. I've always seen these things, and I want to clean my shower really good with this. But I'm gonna see how good it is. So I got this from TikTok Shop. Um, and next. We got some Amazon, which some of this stuff is probably trying on. I ordered a lot of stuff. To try. This, uh, this is for a short. A YouTube. I re upped on this Yara perfume. She, I reviewed this before it went viral on TikTok. So I've been telling y'all this was that girl. Ben. I ended up giving it to Akaya because I didn't reach for it every day like I should have, like I started to, because all Prada took over my life. Uh, so I got me another one. Akaya used that whole bottle. The whole bottle is gone of perfume. So I got another one of those. I got Amazon, which I think this is. Oh. Well, okay. Okay. So, I'm starting to feel sick already. So, I am allergic to crawfish. I'm not, supposed, I'm not supposed to eat crawfish. And I just ate like probably about three pounds of crawfish. But I gotta take Benadryl to help with my settles my stomach. If not, I am vomiting, diarrhea. It's like I have a stomach allergy from it every time I eat it. Um, however, I had this place before and I didn't get sick. Unless they change their seasoning, I don't know. I'm starting to feel a little, a little, you know. But we're gonna keep going because I really want to do my, I really want to do my brow lamination with you guys. Um, I want to try Baldac noodles. I've heard great things about Baldac noodles. I've seen a lot of people, Asian people, cooking with this, and I'm like, oh, I don't know if it's just like regular ramen noodles for 25 cents from the store or not. These are a little bit more. These are a little bit more pricier, and I got the cream carbon, cre creamy chicken carbonara, 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 carbonara. So I got that because nobody here sells it, so I got it from Amazon. I got a whole thing of razors. I'm kind of back on my shaving my face kick. Y'all know I was using my little thing, and then it broke on me. And then I went back to using Nair, but sometimes Nair burns my face. So I went back to using these again and not reusing them. That's why I think I broke out so bad. I Man, I have makeup on now, but I have like four or five dark spots uh, from my breakouts from me using an old razor, reusing a razor. I'm like, oh, I only used it one time because I reused the, I reused my razor that I shaved on my leg. Your face is totally different. I learned that the hard way. So I got that from Amazon then I got which I don't know why I got this foldable um, outlet why did I get this I don't know why I got this but I got this um let's see let me hurry up I'm gonna go get some Benadryl in my system I'm supposed to do a haul tonight mm -mm. Oh. Um, okay, this is a try on. This is a try on. I just ordered so much from Amazon within the past couple of days. So much. Um, this is my last Amazon box, and then I have a, a small business box. Okay, I got. These are lashes for Akaya. She likes, she uses these individual lashes. Then for the house, I got, which I'm so excited about, organization, it's the Virgo in me. I got this weekly planner to go on our, our refrigerator. So I can plan out what we're gonna eat for the week. If there's any practices, I'll write it on here. So Micah can know like what we got going on for the week so he won't be asking me. I'm gonna just tell him to refer to the calendar. 
I ain't no child. You gonna answer what I asked for. I know that. Ask me what's going on during the week. Play with your mom. Don't play with me. <laughs> Oh, my boy got jokes, boy. When the, when the camera say action, he be ready. Yeah, I'm always on. I'm always on ten. Don't play with me. Uh, hey, don't, you me like don't play with Whoa, you. Man. Okay, girl, man. Don't do one yourself. Baby, can you um take this off for me? No, joke ain't. And y'all be saying out here like, oh, y'all wish I had a husband. Y'all want that? Oh, so I'm a bad husband? Y'all want that? Oh. He got a mouth on him. He talks back. Instead of just doing what I asked him to do. I ain't no slave. What'd they say, babe? Happy life, happy wife. Happy land, happy man. Say what you want. Mama. Your land will not be flowing with milk and honey if you act like this. The Lord will hey. provide. <laughs> okay. All right. Play with me if you want to. Okay. The Lord will provide. Okay. The Lord will provide. All right, we're gonna see how they work out for you. That's a sin to withhold from your husband. <laughs> Won't be no milk and honey, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Can you come do this if you want the milk and honey, please? Can you take this off? <laughs> I can't take get it. Take what off? Just um, like my nails lock, lock like well, Bring it here, up right here. Anyways, it comes with a calendar that says Monday, calendar throughout the, uh, Monday, through, Monday through Saturday calendar. And then it has the dry erase markers that come with it. And a little holder, magnet holder that you put a, put on the refrigerator so you can write. And it comes with this little dry erase thingy. So I got that because who's going to be organized? Not you. It's... Oh, I see you getting it now, huh? Turn that camera to the pantry and tell me who walked in. Shut up, Micah. <laughs> Shut up. Let me close. Don't close the door. You feel like you be trying to play me, man? Every day. Fuck off. Don't put that camera in that office. Show me who walked in. Every day. Why are you quiet? Hurry up. <laughs> Here you go, Mufasa. Awesome, awesome lemon, awesome honey. And here's the acrylic. Awesome, awesome. Sunday through Monday, and then this. I'm gonna possibly put it over here really quickly. On the fridge? On the fridge. But, y'all probably can't see that because I got it too low and Mala's backpack is in the way. Let me set y'all like this, okay, y'all can see. See, I'm talking about my refrigerator ain't organized either, but we ain't talking about that right now. We're gonna talk about our weeks. Yay! Yay! So now we can write on here, Sunday, church, Monday, soccer practice, and whatever I'm gonna cook, I'm gonna put on here too. And then any extra is gonna go there. So I wanna get my, my life love, together. The, the thing is not on here. I know nothing's there. That's because that's like a that's just a, a whatever. That's not All right, I'm supposed to. Oh, I'm supposed to have uploaded my YouTube video by now. Let me hurry up because I know some of y'all. My people looking for it and probably say she ain't have a video up at five o'clock on Thursday. I know. Y'all probably don't even be checking for me like that. I don't know. Maybe it's all in my head. Um, oh my gosh, Canva is, I'm trying to make my thumbnail to do it, but let me have her do this because I'm, I'm going to just put it live at 6 o'clock because it's 5.30. So, I don't know who this is, but one of my church members shared, shared it and said it was her nephew's brand and was starting a candle company. I don't really smell like a... Like I thought I would. Um, so I ended up ordering the discovery kit just to kind of test it out to see, just to support him. I like supporting small businesses, especially if they're like decent and affordable. It's difficult to smell cabinets over, candles over the internet, which is why I 
which is why introductory kit was curated so you can experience a sincere escape before you commit to a candle. Here's a unique code for 15% off your next order just for you. And he hand wrote the code for me. And here's, nah, I smell these candles. I definitely smell these. And you got, you get all of these little candles. To, this is, but they honestly smell sweet, like morning munch, lemon zest, citrus, vanilla milk. Mommy, can I smell it? Yeah, come over here. You can smell it. Um, Cyberite. Oh, I like this one. Cyberite. I like this one. Put that one to the side. This smells this like applesauce. This smells like applesauce. One of these inside here is really strong. That smells like chocolate. Because that's what I smell the most. Maybe it's this chai one. This one smells like unicorn. Yes, it's this one. This one is so, and it says fresh coffee. This one? I love her. Very strong. Too strong for me. I don't, but my husband like this coffee. This one tastes Although like I love hot coffee. chocolate. But it kind of like it overpowered all of the other scents. Molly, you messing up. Now I'm double, now I'm double smelling scents. Oh, static smells really good. This smells smell like lemon. Molly. I will buy this one. Um, this one smells like lemon. Lemon? Yeah. Orchid grow? It does smell like lemon. <laughs> you are so smart. <laughs> so I think my favorite. Wait. I, 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 I did not smell this one yet. It smells like chocolate. You smelled it. Okay, so my favorite, first of all, his brand this is JB like Mason. Um, and I'll leave his information down like below. This one I'm not affiliated with him. One. He doesn't know who I am. I'm just going to support his business because that's what I do. And that's what you should do too. Um, so, yeah, these are my favorite. These are my three favorite scents out of the whole one. Two, I think this is this whole collection. Mom, three, my, is my six, hands seven, cold? Eight. My hands cold? Yes, your hands are cold. Eight cents. Oh, three of these are my favorites. The other ones are just kind of like, my eh. My hands cold. Cybar. How do y'all say that? Cybar tea? Ah! That one, this one smells really good. This one has notes of, ooh, child. Italian leather. Child, I can't read that. That's too small. Lisso, Lisso Lee? Oh, maybe it's not my favorite. Let me take that one out. So this, we're gonna have two this of my favorite. One, this one is my this favorite. This one is my favorite. Static. This one is my Static favorite. Static is white tea, pink this peppercorn, one which favorite. I love pink. This is my favorite. Peppercorn. This is my favorite. Suede. These are my scent. favorite. Girl, I feel like I'm reading one of them. Um, you know the vision things that you gotta tell me the letters. I can't. I can't read that. I can't see that. Like this, the letters are too small. Can y'all even see that? Like, mom, this you have this much. This this smell like apple sauce. You so animated. Apple sauce. <laughs> you are silly. All right, y'all. I'm about to go ahead and go um, do my haul for the Alta and Sephora haul, and that's it. So I'm gonna talk to y'all a little. Bit. Happy Friday. Rainy Friday at that, y'all. It was storming this morning. Hamala. Yes, <coughs> I, I, I heard the storm. You heard the storm? Yeah, while I was sleeping. Oh, it woke you up? Uh-huh. Oh, uh-huh. This smell. Um. And then she went back to sleep. Yep. And then wake up too long. She went right back to sleep. So it's a very gloomy Friday. But it's going to be a good day. I took some Benadryl last night and I slept and I got up at 4.40 something this morning because AJ was flying to Miami for spring break. So he's there and I was worried about him getting to New Orleans in time and getting on his flight and text me said he's taking off. So he should be there I think at 10 o'clock or 9 o'clock our time. 10 o'clock their time. I don't know. They're hour ahead. And I'm so excited because I'm going to Miami next month. Hey All of my Miami followers, what's the best thing to do? I'm only there for two days before I cruise, but I have two days in Miami. This is Mike and I first time going. I was going to do some beach stuff, but honestly, I'm, I plan to be on the beach. The, I plan to be on a beach four days out of our cruise because we're on an eight-day cruise. So I start doing some vacation prep. Prep. They said, "Hey, Mala, back to you. Tell them you're feeling better, huh, Mala?" I feel better. 
She's feeling better. She has to take um, Tamiflu twice a day. It's a pill. I have to put in chocolate syrup to make her drink it because she won't drink the pill. And if she don't, she don't even like liquid medicine. So I, child, I'm ready for her to be over it. Okay. My thought was a little <clears throat> last night. And I was like, eh, eh, eh. hold up now. I was just talking about how I haven't gotten sick since I've been taking those greens. And now all of a sudden I jinxed myself and I got a little little phlegm what's going on in there but um it, it, it kind of was a little funny last night my throat and then this morning I had some cold that I coughed up and I know TMI but I feel better my throat doesn't hurt um I don't know maybe it could just be the allergies in my mind I'm like Molly but had not given me the flu I got this big <laughs> big event this weekend my first speaking engagement um so I'm not I'm, I'm kind of nervous but I'm not nervous I don't know what the trial's gonna be like so I'm gonna just Say a prayer, take a deep breath, and make the best out of it, and hope I don't get up there and fumble the ball, okay? You're gonna pray that that does not happen. Um, but that's Sunday at four o'clock, Sunday evening. Hopefully, I don't, I, this is my first, and in my mind, it might be, it's gonna be my last. I was contemplating, why did I, why did I say yes? Why did you say, Adrian, you know you don't do, why did you say? But it, it was because the person who asked me, also. She's known for keep getting me out of my comfort zone. So, anywho, I'm going to drop, I'm going to drop Myla to my mom's house because she goes back to school on Monday. Malia is going to school. I'm going to bring her. I got my coffee. I did a cold brew this morning. Caramel and cold she, brew. And she forgot to bake it for two days. I forgot. No, I made it. I made the coconut cream one yesterday. I uploaded that video. What about my teachers? I did not get your teachers none. I got I bought them some last Friday. I didn't do... I'm listen now, I ain't gonna be else with me because I can be on every Friday thing now. I thought if that's the case, I gotta get up early to make their coffee. But I don't know if they liked it or not. They didn't even say that if they liked it or not. So I guess that's another reason why I'm, I probably wouldn't make it again. Cause, I mean, I would make it again if they said it was good, but what if they didn't like it? You know? Mommy. So, all right, I'm headed to. Yes, sweetheart. She did say thank you. Mm -hmm. I know they told they did tell me thank you, but I didn't know if they liked it. Did they say they liked it? No. They did. They, they told you that. I didn't think so. She chewing that chewing that slim jim back there, huh? <laughs> Her breakfast. Lord have mercy. Bye, I love being a girl mom. Okay, okay I want to talk to you guys a little later. Ciao. I'm sitting here contemplating like, oh, that car almost hit that other car. Ooh, would not want to be in the car with you, my boy. I am about to go and get my feet done. I shaved my legs last night because I knew I was either going today or tomorrow. So I'm going to my lunch break and get that done now because I have my event Sunday. I don't think I told y'all about that earlier. I wrote down some key points of what I want to talk about. Um, I want to see if Micah can record it for me because he will be there in support of me. Um, whew, the theme color is purple. Um, I have a whole bunch of purple outfits that I don't really know what I'm going to wear. If Tommy all are watching this, I'm probably going. It's a Sunday at 4 o'clock. So my videos usually go live at 1 o'clock on Sunday. So I'm sure y'all are probably watching this. I don't know which outfit I'm gonna wear. I still don't even know which outfit I'm gonna wear. I have, I started my returns um, from Shein already on some of the outfits, but then I'm kind of contemplating because I'm like, ooh, I kind of want to wear that. I kind of want to wear this. I want to do my, I want to get my nails done purple, like a purple ombre. I really want to do that, but I don't want to pay for it. I don't want to pay for it because it's gonna probably be about $60 to get my nails done and probably even more to take these press zones off. And then I gotta get, do I, uh, no, no. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm, I, and I really want to do purple nails. And what I might just do is buff off the top of this and paint these nails purple and call it a day. Because I just put these on Tuesday and I was going to take them off and redo them. But I might just buff the top, put some purple shellac on this and call it a day. Because I'm frugal. Baby, slow down. Child. People are, baby, the lunch hour just brings people crazy out. I'm going to a place that I've been going to for the past probably five, six months. I've been coming here to get my feet done. Um, 
I like, only get my feet done. That's the only thing I do for myself is get my feet done. I have, I went yesterday to go get my eyebrows done. And I, the only thing I do is get my feet done. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get my eyebrows done. Yeah, I'm gonna get my eyebrow, feet and eyebrows is the only thing that I spend money on. I got my eyebrows done yesterday and I found out I have two 50 minute massages and a facial that I need to use over there. Like that's just sitting in my account that I need to use. So I need to schedule that, but they're only open now from Monday through Friday, not on Saturday. So I got to figure out when I have time to go and do, do that. Um, child, I don't know. I might, girl, I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, let's go get these toes done. I usually put my camera in there and vlog, but I mean, I don't think y'all really want to see me get my toes done. Do y'all? I'm going to get purple. I might ask people on my stories what color shape, what shade of purple I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. So let me know. Well, <laughs> I did not get my feet done. I literally been there since 120. It's 141. Nobody, and I, it's, it's nobody's fault. Like it's Friday, tax season, lunch time. Well, it's not really lunch time, but I knew better than to go at this time. Um, I went to my same place, but, and I, I, I sat there for 20 minutes and then I was like, and nobody even always ha almost halfway done with who with who they're doing so i'm like i would hate so i told her i was like i'm gonna just come back oh no 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 no! i'm almost done I i'm gonna come back because i would hate like i feel i feel guilty you rushing this person to come to me to not lose me no and i don't want to be rushed as well i'm gonna get an hour I, I get an hour but i get an hour i'm supposed to have an hour but you know if i run over here and there it's okay but if you haven't even started on my, if you haven't even started on my feet and it's 140, that means I won't be done to at least 240 because it takes you an hour to do my feet. I, and then I don't want to be rushing or aggravate. So I was just like, I'm going to just come back because no. So I was like, you got a towel dry my feet. And she was like, I'm almost done. No, because I, I, that's unfair for the person who you're doing to rush her to get to me. No. So, and I should have known better than going on, you know, Friday. It's my fault. But I was like, I'm gonna come back. He said, you come back at 4th I'm, I'm gonna come back. Will I go back? Is the question. I don't wanna lie. And that's where I normally go to get my feet done. And there's a place on my house I usually go to, but I have not been there in over a year. I was going to her, I was going there during COVID, but since I found this place, they're never busy. The owner is always, the owner, every time I've gone for the past six months, the owner has always see, I've never seen him, I've never seen him work. Today he was working. So I knew they were busy, but you know how you can barely tell like if they're almost done with the person, like you don't, you can't really gear to see like, is the person almost done to get to me or if she just, if he just starting. So yeah, I, I'm a little, and if I don't go at 4.30, I'm not going back there. I'm gonna go to the one by my house. Because even tomorrow, I'm not coming. I, I live about 20 minutes from my job. I'm not coming back on this side of town just to get my feet done. I'm going to go right by my house. So, I want Oh, there's some pho. I want some more pho. And there's a place that sells it. But I need to go to Target to pick up my Target order and then go back to work. Um, and I'll deal with my feet. I don't know. That water felt really good. All the, I felt bad that they wasted that water on me. But... Like, don't expect me to pay you for nothing, dog. Cause you ain't touched my feet. All you did was run some water. I don't owe you nothing. Water is free in America. All right, I'm gonna pick up my order and then I'll see what I'm gonna do about my feet, cause I still don't know. But I'm happy I, I discovered I can just redo my nails. I'm so happy I talk to y'all, like like y'all talk back to me. I'm so happy I figured it out when I'm talking to y'all. Just buff it and put a purple over it and boom. I got purple nails and purple feet and purple outfit for Sunday. All right, so I just, let's do, I picked up my order from Target and I'm about to order something from Tropical Smoothie. I've never eaten here before, but I heard that they have some good food. Um, hold on one second. Of course, just let me know whenever you're ready. Okay, thank you. Look at that, acai Thai chicken. Baja chicken. I don't want to look at that. Oh, they have quesadillas? Um, could I get the, um, is the Thai chicken wrap, is that hot or cold? It's hot. All of them are, are all of them are heated up in the oven. Okay, can, is that one good, the Thai chicken? Um, I haven't tried it, but a lot of people like it. What's your favorite? 
Um, I would say the Caribbean drift trap. Okay. This, uh... Um... Okay, I'll, I'll I'll try yours. The Caribbean jerk wrap chicken wrap. Yeah, the Caribbean jerk. Yeah, I'll try I'll uh, try that one. What side would you like it in? Uh, where is your sides? Oh, uh, um, I, I guess just chips. Okay, we have barbecue, big plays, jalapeno, or salt vinegar. Um, jalapeno. Okay. Anything else? That will be all. Okay, that will be eight eighty at the window. Okay, thank you. Of course. Oh, she's nice. I've never had this, but I, I heard somebody say it was good. I'm gonna do a little quick haul with you guys. I just did it on my stories. But if you follow, don't follow me on the other platforms, then you wouldn't know what I got from um, Target. Yeah, Target. I got the um, Moroccan Rose Tree Hut by Tree Hut. The sugar scrub I love this stuff so much and this is the only scent that I like and it smells amazing oh my god I used the last bit of the one I had last night so I immediately ordered me three more yes. um I got this is the vitamins that the girls take the nature made vitamin C they take these every morning with some gummies to help them they take one a day that'll be out shortly thank you they take one a day um, I'm hungry. I didn't eat no breakfast this morning. And then last but not least, I got this Neutrogena, some Neutrogena makeup remover uh, wipes. Um, I I got this. I got some from. I got some Betsy Johnson ones from um, TJ Maxx because they were cheap. And I literally just use these to kind of like wipe the makeup off of my hands, or if I'm like doing a cut eye or something, the concealer, I will use these. These are really good at taking your makeup off too. But I don't use wipes anymore to take my makeup off because I use use like I usually use cleansing oils or balms to do that and then I got this the viral denim trench coat from Target I want to do a try on with that I'm gonna style it I don't know what I'm gonna wear underneath it but I'm gonna find something and I'm gonna do an Instagram reel with it because I saw another girl with it on and but she just wore it like just to just the she wore the jacket as a dress that's just not my vibe so I gotta style it um, and then do an Instagram run which I'll probably do that sometime next week so yeah that's my friday um i hope that this is good it has lettuce in it and i don't really like heated a wrap a heated wrap with lettuce it's not usually my vibe but i'm gonna try it because somebody i saw on shoot what was that that had it i don't know this vlog has turned out way longer than what it was supposed to have been it's supposed to have been on a 30 minute vlog and I still have not even done my eyebrows. Why every time I say it's going to be a short vlog and be in over an hour or close to an hour? Because I, I run my mouth, I talk. Um, I had to pay a lot of money for my little doctor's appointment. First of all, I was telling Micah the other day, I've been, we've been spending a lot of money with these kids. Zoe's vet bill. And I had to order her and Max and Bella's, Max and Bella's Prevecto pills for, because it's starting to get hot. I did the flea, flea pills. Mala's, all of her tests they ran on her insurance did not cover all of that so I had to pay out of pocket for that and plus our copay Monday and Wednesday um which thank god I mean I don't I'm not I guess I'm complaining complaining about spending the money but um I just it was just an expense that I just wasn't ready for along with my shopping there we go priorities I'm waiting for my food to be done but I'll, I'll let you guys know what it looks like and how it tastes when once wow. I get we got the wrap this is what it look like and first impressions. Is this rice in here? This is what's all in it. I don't know if that look good or not, but this, that's why they got a lot going on. That's rice. I didn't know they had rice in it. Is that pineapple and rice? Ciao. No, they said on Judge a Book by its cover, so. God's gracious, God is good. Let us thank him for our food. Amen. Bless the cook that prepared this meal. And please let this be good. Okay. Hmm. First impressions, this is a lot of flavor going on. 
We got pineapples, black beans, rice, chicken, lettuce. You gotta, you have to have a um, an inquiring taste to like this. This is not for somebody who's very picky. It's not bad, but first bite is not something that I would crave. I would try a different wrap from them. I want to try the Thai one next time. I should have went with my first gut, but. It's not, it's not bad. 